Nuclear equations are similar to chemical equations in that the sum of the mass numbers, so the sum of the mass numbers are equal, and also the sum of the atomic numbers are equal. So since the mass is conserved, we can treat them in some sim simple ways to figure out what particle might be missing from an equation. Nucleus, the nucleus changing throughout the nuclear reaction. Let's do a few examples where we can solve for unknowns. Now, in order to do these problems, uh, we'll need to know the particles that could form. So here's the particles. We could have an electron. Remember, the mass number is shown on the top. The atomic number is shown on the bottom, or charge. So an electron, 0 over negative 1. Neutron, 0 over 1. Uh, atomic number of 0, charge of 0. A proton is shown with a hydrogen symbol, since it has an atomic number of 1 and a mass number of 1. A positron is 0 over 1, E. So that's a positively charged electron. And then one more, 4 over 2 He. This is an alpha particle in nucleus. So let's say we have for our first example 28 over 13 aluminum decays to make an unknown plus 0 over negative 1 E. So what particle is that? Well, that's an electron. So we need to find the unknown particle that gets reduced when the aluminum decays by beta emission. It releases a beta particle. What's left over? Well, we could think concept beta decay occurs when a neutron turns into a proton and an electron. So we would expect the protons to increase, the atomic number to increase and the mass number to stay the same. But another really easy way to do these problems is to use algebra. So since we just saw that we have equations where the sum on the left is equal to the sum on the right, we can use simple algebra to solve for an unknown in that situation. So we can say 28, I'm going to make two equations, one for the numbers, one for the atomic numbers. So 28 equals, put an equals instead of the arrow, x, my unknown, plus 0. 28, 28 equals x plus 0, so all the top numbers. And we do the same for the bottom numbers, 13 equals the unknown y plus negative 1. So now if we solve for x and y, t x equals 28, and y, we would add 1 to both sides of this, so y is 14. Now we just look up the element that has a top team, and so that's silicon. Let's try this one. An unknown particle bombard sulfur 32, which produces phosphorus. In this example, plus 2, 32. 32 is 0 on the bottom, 
y plus equals 15. Subtract 16 from both sides. 15 minus 16 is negative 1. Negative 1. So in this case, we can see that 0 over negative 1 is drawn. So it was a beta particle that bombarded this reaction. So we have 4. Let's do this one instead. So we have zero, 1 over 0 n plus the unknown makes 24 over 11 Na plus 4 over 2 He. All right, so again, similar approach. N, so this is a neutron here. We have 1 plus equals 24 plus 4. So this is going to be 28, and we'll subtract 1, so 27. And then we have z plus y equals 11 plus 2. So that would be 13, and there is y. Look at the element. Atomic number 13 is aluminum. And there we go. Now, let's look at the situation where we have um, where we have equations that are written out so that we have to now figure out so this is writing nuclear equations from descriptions So for the first one, we have if nitrogen 14 turns into oxygen 14 in the presence of radiation, what type of particle is emitted? So we have to read this equation and figure out how to write the equation from the words. Now emitted means release, but let's start with the beginning here. So we have nitrogen 14, mass number is 14 turns into oxygen 14 and the atomic numbers we can look up so it's 7 for nitrogen and for oxygen 8 now emitted means release let's think about these other examples here so for instance in this example the electron was emitted during this process. Notice it's on the right. It's like this. We have one thing and it emits something else. So a piece of that comes out. So we can see that when something gets emitted, a particle gets emitted, that's going to be shown on the right side as a product. So if it said it, it was added to the other thing, then it would be on the left side. But since it's emitted, it's being released. So now we go through this in the same process as before. 14 equals 14 plus x. And on the bottom, 7 equals 8 plus y. So 14 minus 14 is 0, 0 on the top. And 7 minus 1 is negative 1. And we see we have then, once again, an electron, 0 over negative 1, or beta particle.